Hello everyone, my name is Grace and today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is 28th chapter, Paul the Brave Helper, Acts 27. What are we going to do? The people on the ship were hopeless. What could they do? The winds were so strong, so the ship was about to sink. The rain was pouring out over the people. They were in the middle of a big storm. They couldn't do anything. We will all die soon. They were scared to death. No, we won't die. God said we won't die, said Paul. Paul told the people about God. He told about them how to how God would help them. Paul preached the God spell bravely. Paul knew that God would be with those who believe in believe in him. The storm was so violent that the boat was wrecked, but the people were all safe because God helped them. They were happy. God was there with them. The people were happy because they believed in Jesus and overcame to the difficultness. They were happy because God sent Paul for, for them to go them faith. 29 chapter, a letter for Onesimus. Pelamon. Onesimus ran away. Onesimus worked for Pelamon, but Onesimus ran away from Pelamon. Onesimus was running away from a big to a big city. He took something from Pelamon, but God sent Paul to meet Onesimus. Paul told Onesimus about Jesus. Onesimus began to love Jesus. He wanted to tell Jesus about the people. People about Jesus. After Onesimus learned about God's love, he wanted to go back to Pelamon. Onesimus wanted Pelamon to forgive him. <coughs> Sorry. Onesimus wanted Pelamon to love him. Paul wrote a letter for Onesimus. Dear Pelamon, Onesimus loved Jesus. Onesimus hoped that you will forgive him and take him back. Onesimus was very happy because Paul helped him. Onesimus was very happy to have a friend like Paul. 30th chapter, Paul sent letters, Philippians and Hebrews. One day, someone came to Pelamon, Philippine church, Aphroditus came to Paul to meet Paul, the man of God. He wrote the test, became sick while he was helping Paul and the church. Paul was worried, but the friends of the church prayed to God for a prodigious. God helped them to be healthy again. 
Carol. That's Dave. Paul's. Dave Paul's letter. To the Pelican Church again. Pal down the Pelican Church. For their love. His let and his letter. He wrote to Jewish friends to make them believe in Jesus. He told them to keep their faith and told them more about Jesus. 31 chapter, Paul preaches 1 Timothy and Titus. Paul spread the gospel while traveling around the world. Many people wanted to listen to God's word, but there were people who didn't like Jesus. Some people hated Paul. They put him in jail. Paul was in the jail for two, two years. He didn't stop writing about Jesus in prison. When he was out of the prison, he traveled again to spread the gospel. Paul traveled many churches and countries in the world to spread the good news. He told the world that Jesus is the Son of God. He died on the cross and raised in three days. He also wrote, to his friends of church. One day, Paul wrote to Timothy and Epius. Timothy became a pastor who preaches God's world words. Paul taught him how to become a good pastor in his letter. He also wrote a letter to Titus to Teach the gospel correctly. There's only a little bit left, you know. Okay, we will read this all today. 32 chapter, Peter's letter 1, chapter 1 to 2, Peter. Peter, the disciple of Jesus, wrote two letters. One is for the friend of church in Asia. Asia. He wanted them to be strong in Jesus. He wanted them to love Jesus and their friends. In the second letter, he asked them to get along with others in the church. He advised them not to be decided by false teachers. 33 chapter, Paul's last letter, chapter 2, Timothy. Paul was put in the prison again in Rome. Paul wrote the letter to Timothy. The, he addressed him good ways to preach the good news. He wrote that we the most important thing for believers is to love on other according to the God's world words. He also wrote that the only way to believe in God is to follow Jesus. 34 chapter, John's love letters, 1, 2, and 3, John. John was the disciple of Jesus. He also wrote to many churches in the world. He wrote, God, God will be blessed if you love God and your friends. Help those who do God's work. 35 chapter, John meets Jesus in Patmos. John was taken to the East Island 
of Patmos. Some people didn't like John for preaching the gospel. They took him into the island of Patmos. John prayed and wrote letter. Got to the friend who believed in Jesus. One on the island of Patmos. One day Jesus came to John. The eyes of Jesus was shining like a flame. The sound of his voice. It was following water. Flowing water. His face was like a shining sun. Write letters to your friend and church so that they know and God love God, said Jesus. And to John, John wrote that God sent Jesus to let us to heaven. 36 chapter, John sees heaven. John was praying into in the island of Patmos. He saw heaven while he was praying. God was sitting on his throne surrounded by sparkling rain, rainbow. Jesus showed him a book. John wrote everything he saw. John saw God's palace. It was shining beautifully. Only the who whose name er on the bed of Jesus can go in. Only who the who believe in Jesus can go to the palace. Certainly clear water was flowing down to the city of Holy City. There were trees of life which make us live eternally. John saw the kingdom of God. We will live there eternally. Jesus went to heaven to at the Sea of Galilee while the disciple was watching there. Do you remember that the angel said to the disciple, right? Jesus promised to come to us again to live in the kingdom of God together. Let's wait for Jesus. Let's think about the wonderful kingdom of God. Said Jesus is coming back soon. Yes, the wonderful story is end of here. And today I read many stories, right? And next time I will read maybe Kids Bible or Wonderful Story again. Okay? Yeah, let's see you next time. Bye!